afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you once again from Islands Full Release. And I am picking up right from where we left off at the last video. In this particular case, what I chose to do was go ahead and lay down the mat and sleep through the rest of the day and the night in order to have a full day for exploring the island. Now, when you do a sleeping mat, you do not bind to it. You are bound to a bed, not a sleeping mat. So that is important to remember. Uh, before we take off, let me hit the right keys on my keyboard. I want to mark on the map where the ship is. So I'm going to put that right there to remind me that is where I parked my boat. I have not finished circumnavigating the island, which is something I tend to do first. But you know what? I'm too excited. I'm going to be bad. I'm going to break my own rules and I'm going to go ahead and start exploring. Now, obviously, if I can find horses, that would be great to start out with horses, but I don't think I'm going to pull that off. I don't think there are any horses on this island uh, because it, it would be great to be able to ride a horse around. Now, if I built a bigger ship, I could get the horse on the ship and bring the horse with me here. That would be cool. Oh, that gives me a thought. <gasps> I did see something else over here. It's another one of these guys. A golem, a stone troll, whatever you want to call it. This is the seed guy. So he's got on and about his person all kinds of seeds. So if you're missing any seeds and you find this guy, I just wish I could build a seed box, to be honest. I don't really need all these, so if at some point I need to dump them, I will, but that's okay. Oh, I wish we could make seeds out of the magic bush, but look at him. He is so cool. Oh, he's got cassava on his head. We'll take that. What I'm really hoping to find he's got is sisal agave. No. At least not that I can see so far. What's that? Oh, cave mushrooms. No, thank you. No mushrooms needed here. Anything there? I'm going to just kind of check out his various and sundry sections. Cleaned out his hand. And then there's the stuff on the ground. That looks like an oak tree. So, yeah, tall oak tree. Uh, may as well take all this. All right. But no. No sisal. Okay, that's all right. We will take what we can find. Let's go ahead and check this. Oh, it's a bell tower. I've never seen anything like that before. This is a whole new thing for me. I like whole new things, but I need to be cautious. Oh, it's got lanterns all over it. I haven't seen any wolves or anything yet. I need to remember to watch for those. Actually, I should pick up a few more buckwheat because I'm going to want to make a buckwheat stand back on Island Zero uh, so we can grow those. What's that? What did I just pick up? Oh, more flint. It looked a little bit oddly shaped for flint. That's okay. Now, let's go over here and check this out. Now, there could be bad people in here. And I am slow because I'm wearing heavy armor. So we're going to be cautious. It has an open door. Is that a seagull? Over the door? I don't see anybody in there. Oh, the flowers in the pots look nice. This is a nice little building. It looks like somebody's been working. Oh, nails. Sorry, I don't know who you are, but I'm stealing your nails. But you can keep your hammer. <laughs> I'm stealing the nails, though. Definitely. I didn't know you could get a bell. You can get a bell in the game. All right, let's go back up. Can I reach the lanterns? The, oh, oh, that'll do. Because, yes, I am not above pillaging and plundering. Ooh, nope, that didn't work out. I fell down. Okay, if I jump... Yes! Definitely. I'm going to put one of those on, on the ship, on the boat... Yeah, I don't want the seagull trophy. I think that that I can do without. Let's see, is there anything in your barrel? We'll take the bird meat. We will take the iron pitchfork. 
Uh, that, that, and that for dre to dress up the room with. But we won't take uh, the rug. Oh, the fog is coming in. Actually, I should probably head back to the boat and unload. The fog is very thick. And this lantern is not doing much at all for seeing through the fog, is it? No siree. I see the sail. All right, now, click V to place something. We are going to try to place a lantern. Actually, can I hang it up here? I've never tried this. I'm either going to lose it or it's going to work. And let's go for it works. Yes! Perfect. Let's go back out. We'll put one lantern here. I've still got two with the boat, so that's okay if we lose them. Um, mm, I didn't mark the, the map where that is, that tower. That's okay. Let's go off. Where did I? Oh, that's where I think that house is. That's right. Okay, I kind of... Um, this this fog is rather annoying. Not gonna lie. But I think that's kind of the point, isn't it? <laughs> it's meant to challenge us. So, let's go up the hill. It's probably gonna be cold up here. But... This is a Tier 2 island. We have the chance of seeing resources... On the exterior and not having to go inside. Still no flint in any great quantity, like no pits of flint, which is what I'm used to from pre-release. And I kind of miss it when it was, because now I'm making arrows, whereas before I never used to do that. I would go straight for the higher tier weapons and I wouldn't need to worry about arrows. Now I do. So, a flint deposit would come in handy. Let's see. The birch wood, I think, actually does give you a diff. Oh, a horse, a horse, a horse, a horse. We need a horse, of course, for this island, right? Because we should have a horse on every island. Alright, so, to woo me horsey, I need. Let's woo this horsey over here with the beautiful light blue mane and tail. Yes, you know you want to eat the grass I brought. I brought it from a whole other island. It doesn't taste like any grass you've ever had. Is that a bear on the upper left? I think it is. I think that's two of them. There's one very close by. As far as I know, the bears and the wolves and... Oh, there's the hole in the ground. The bears and the wolves and things don't actually attach attack the horses, but I'm not positive. I have remember a time when a hyena attacked me on a horse. But I don't remember if it was just my paranoid imagination or what. It could be. It very well could be. All right, horse of course three is so named. Yes, we're gonna ride you, dear. I just need to pick up the flint because I definitely gonna need to be making some more arrows. All right, let's go ahead and follow the coastline on this tier two beauty. Um, let's get up here though and mark this spot on the map. Uh, so I'm there. I have no idea what to use to mark the holes. What do I use over here? Let's be smart. I used the location icon. This one, which I've used here for I don't know what. I don't know what that's for. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to come up with a system. Because I don't have one. <laughs> it's showing. Okay, I'm going to go in just a little ways. I want to see if there's any obvious iron. I'm also curious to see if these things will attack me on a horse. They will not. 
they don't seem to care. That might be iron. That's for sure gold. And I'm getting cold. <laughs> She's getting cold. That, that could be iron as well, but I think it's more likely... Yeah, she's getting too cold. Oh, no, she's not cold anymore. Um, it could be saltpeter. That's the other thing it could be. Oh. Oh. That's got to be the Alpha's Den, because there's Ilanium there. Okay. We're not getting off the horse here. That's for sure. Oh, that could be it, too. Oh, that's a lot of Islandium. Yeah, they're not attacking me when I'm on the horse. This is cool. Of course, I can't pick anything up, but I can scout ahead. I like that. I might just start calling the horse, of course, Scout. Ha <laughs> ha! Because this worked out rather well. But I'm not finding what I think is iron. I think that is saltpeter. But we know there's gold here. That's something. Yeah, that does not look like an iron nugget at all. I could be wrong. Can I find out before they come kill me? It's zirconium. Okay, back on the horse. Now back up off the zirconium a little bit there. Zirconium is a new thing for me. Okay. Oh, yep, yep, they came for me and I got on to the horsey. <laughs> okay. I have three whole zirconium. Okay, can, can can you guys go away long enough? Yeah, see, they're red. They're red. They're not the purple. That one up there is purple. Those ones are red, though. <laughs> I'm going to jump on and off the horse. Okay, so I have some zirconium, so we're going to just find out what that is all about. Um, I don't know if zirconium is better or worse than iron. I haven't read anything about it yet, so I don't know. Okay. But now I know what's on this island. Uh, there's gold and there's zirconium. Okay. Let's get off the horse for a second just to eat. That was a productive trip into the ground. Let's hope they don't make it so that things start attacking the horses, because that was like a free pass to just go in and explore. Alright, let's see what's off this way. There is a chance that there are resources on the surface that are mineable. I can hope. Of course, I could completely miss them, too. I wonder if there'd be any under the snow where we couldn't see them, but... We should see the little chunks gathered, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's just a rock. That's flint. We'll take that. Uh, no, I didn't mean to get back on the horse. No, 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 no. And if you're ever wondering if something is a resource, you can get your pick out and hover over something and it says, dig dirt. Okay, well, I don't want dirt. <laughs> So that's a useful trick. What's that straight up ahead? I don't know that I need to make a shack on this island. Is this more zirconium? Ah, saltpeter. Okay, well if I can get to the point where I am... Oh, we've got another burial ground over here. Another John Doe with an iron spade. We'll let you keep your iron spade for now, fella. Um, 
Yeah, if I can get to the point where I can make the tables, now I'll be able to make uh, gunpowder. Which would be nice, you know. It would be nice. Alright, I'm just going to take a little bit to remind me that I have it and that I can find it again. And that's the other thing about making a video is I am able to find things again by going back and watching the video. Okay, let's see if we can find the house. There it is. Anybody home? So far, no, no human NPCs have I encountered. I am okay with that. Be careful of ladders that go into the ground. There was a time when going up one of those meant you were going to end up below the earth. Oh, soldier's uniform. Okay, so this is in a pre-release. Ooh, potato seeds, carrot seeds, cotton seeds. Yeah, yeah. Um, when this was in pre-release, we found one of these and actually turned it into a shelter. Oh, yes, hides. It was really nice shelter, actually. Rope's always good, but we have plenty. And it's not locked. Nice. So this is a good shelter. And it's got good stuff to steal. And yes, it's stealing. I know it's stealing. I just don't care. <laughs> Alright, we got two stacks of potato seeds. And I don't need those seeds, so we'll take the sleeveless shirt, just because... And I think we've pretty much stripped this place bare. Oh, there's still quite a bit I haven't explored. Let's go this way first. And there's probably a bunch of stuff I'm not even seeing. They tend to, to have these just little, little treasures, little vignettes sort of scenes that they plunk on the island, you'll find a random, not just a campsite, but a chair. A random chair. Sitting out there for no apparent reason. It's like somebody just, you know, I decided to sit here and read a book. I'm dumb now. I'm going to leave. But I'm going to leave the chair behind. Because I can. I think the sun's going down soon. And I don't want to get caught outside on a tier 2 island. Alright, it's a tier 2 island, but on the surface, it's not too dangerous. We have saltpeter also on the surface. Zirconium underground, but still no iron, which means no blacksmith station, without which I don't think the zirconium is going to make any difference, because I'm, I don't know that you can do anything else if you can't smelt it down and build with it in a blacksmith station. You'll smelt it down in the smeltery, but then the blacksmith station is used to assemble things, so... Hmm. Hmm. Let's just... Thank you, horse, of course, number three. We will see you again. Alright, let's go ahead and just pull off the island for now. Because the sun is definitely going down. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory real quick. I just want to look at the zirconium and click used in and it makes an it, it makes an ingot. Okay, well what's that good for? It's not going to tell me till I smelt it. Okay, so we're going to have to smelt some of that. Now, we have on the map. Okay. On the map. I wish it would zoom out a little more. A little more. We identified that there was another island nearby on the compass, right? So before going back to the main island Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous! Yeah! Because we were coming in this way from the north and we saw another island on our compass. So let's see. Yep, we're headed straight for it. 
Let's see if we can just identify that one. And I think I'll put a foot to land just to see if it's a tier one or a tier two. And then I'm gonna to need to go back to island zero, home base, to unload. And uh, because right now I've got too much stuff. Should I go ahead, you tell me, should I go ahead and build a ship? A bigger ship so that uh, I don't have to run back and forth quite so much. I don't know. It's always a debate because I'm so anxious to just, I want to go check everything out. I haven't encountered another uh, human NPC yet, and I would really like to. That would be cool. That would be very cool. At least now the islands are so much closer. I don't want to rely on trying to see a bird in the sky to tell me where there's stuff to find, islands to find. But I'm still not sure, too, if there's still underwater stuff like there used to be. The submarine and all that stuff. I would think there would be, but again, so far I haven't seen anything floating in the water to indicate that there is stuff to be found under the water. That's a, that's a big rocky island. Ooh, that looks like it might be a tier three because in the the images that I've seen so far of tier three islands, they have a tendency to be the cold remote ones. I wonder if it's got one of those shipwrecks way up in the hills. Ooh, and it's big. It's a big one. I'm not sure we're gonna be exploring that one until we get some fur garments either. Yeah, that's something else we need. We need fur that's armor, so it's warmer. Maybe that's what the bear armor is good for. Because you know how she was getting cold down in the tunnel? That's a thing. That is most definitely a thing. All right, we see a couple of mutated animals already. And they're big. They're probably mutated polar bears. Oh! <gasps> Is that a resource right there? That different color patch? We're just gonna step on the island and then step off the island and back away. And then we're gonna look at our map. Oh, no, no. Take control of your ship, your boat. Stop, stop letting it run amok. Okay. Just sit right there. Yeah, that guy up there looks dangerous. So now let's see. It is a tier three. I think stepping foot on the island is the key thing to knowing whether it's a tier one, two, or three. But I want to know what that patch is up there. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid. It's circling around up there, but hopefully it'll stay up there and there's nothing up here. So I want to see if that is a thing. It's saltpeter. Okay, well, I don't need saltpeter. I need iron. Iron is what I need. Okay. Uh, no, I want to control the boat, please. We want to back off the island. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this one, folks. So far in this episode, of course, we uh, we found a Tier 2 and a Tier 3 island, which is really great, actually. But it's not what we were looking for. We were looking for a Tier 1 island to match the one that we've already found and hopefully provide us with iron. But that's okay. There's plenty more to find. And the more we find, the more we know where we can go when we're ready, which is good. For now, um, I'm going to head back to Starter Island, to the base, unload, maybe smelt up that zirconium and see what it gives us. We'll see. But for now, this is it for today. That's it. I'm repeating myself. This is what happens at the end of a video. So those of you who stuck it out to this far, just to hear me babble, thank you so much. This is Little Daffodil. I'll see you in the next one.